Hello everybody and welcome to the Whiskey Dictionary. Today I'm going to be covering 21802 of Booker's. Now this is called the Backyard Barbecue. Now you might notice that this is a little different for me. I've never actually reviewed just a little sample on the channel, a little bitty sample. <laughs> but I will say that I simply could not find this anywhere. So I had to reach out to Booker's and say, hey, could you guys send me a sample? I, I just can't find this anywhere. And so they did. They actually sent me two samples and I'll be reviewing the other one very shortly, but I'll, I'll leave that a mystery for now. That being said, as always, my opinions are my own. I'm not about to ruin my integrity over a little sample of Booker's, so don't worry about that. If it sucks, as always, I'll tell you. All right, this is called Booker's um, Backyard Barbecue, and the, what it's named for are these dubbed bourbon cues that Booker No would throw in his backyard. He would invite friends and family and everything out to these bourbon cues, and now I can appreciate a good pun, so although it sounds a little corny, I, I don't hate it. So his signature dish were these flambéed pork chops that he would do, and obviously very smoky back there and everything, and part of this has some of that characteristic to it. So let's get into this sample. Um, it's worth noting that his son and his grandson both continued the uh, tradition of having these backyard barbecues so and continue to serve that same pork chop as well the flambéed pork chop all right let's go ahead and nose this and after i nose i'll tell you a little bit about the mash bill as well all right so this is 64.4 percent abv if i remember correctly pretty high um there's virtually no alcohol burn though which is fantastic and shows a good balanced bourbon um, the mash bill is 77% corn, 13% rye, and 10% malted barley, so to give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on in here. But some of the things you're going to be getting out of here, um, you know, six years aged, six and a half years almost for bourbon is, is a decent amount of time. And because of that, you're going to get a lot of oak, especially in the nose. So you get some oak, you get some caramel, um, you actually get a little bit of peanut, which is interesting. I don't, I don't even know that I've ever had peanut on the show before, so I might have to find a new icon for that. Um, so we got pe peanuts, uh, a little bit of banana almost. And um, just a little bit of spice, very, very mild, which is coming from that 13% rye. All right, enough about the nose. Let's go into the taste. Cheers. Alcohol coming out just a little bit more in there, but not bad, not bad for, at all, actually. Um, once again, very odd, but uh, peanuts, <laughs> peanuts coming out again. Very strange. I, I This is a new one for me. Um, I did taste it on the live stream, but you know, Doing live streams and tasting and nosing, it's not great. You're not in the right mindset or the right place to be giving accurate tasting notes, essentially. Or at least I'm not. Maybe some of you have better luck with that. It's too much distraction with the chat and everything. So anyway, I was a little bit doubtful about the peanuts, but there's totally peanuts. All right. Anyway, moving on. You're going to get a lot of caramel. Once again, pretty typical. A lot more of the spice uh, than came across in the nose, for sure. There is also... Um, bit of smoke, duh. All right, sorry. The smoke is kind of the one of the key things here. You, you've got. That's why they call it backyard barbecue, I'm sure. But anyway, that's kind of that's kind of it. You've got a lot going on here. This is probably so far, although a bit unique. Um, I'm going to put the Kathleen's batch above this still. I'm, I'm going to go so far. One is above two, and uh, let's see where we keep going with the rest of these. Cheers.